Okay, so let's look at uh, proactive secret sharing. So in this method, what we'll try and do is we will have Bob, Alice, Carol, and Dave. And what we want to do is to be able to give each of them a share, a secret share, and then for possibly three out of four of them to share their, their secret shares and to be able to generate uh, an overall secret. But what happens when one of the entities goes bad? This is often known as Byzantine fault tolerance in that one of the uh, entities could go bad so we don't want to share the secret with them anymore. So the method we'll look at allow, allows us to be able to recompute our secret shares without one of the entities involved. So the method itself is based on uh, Audi Shamir's secret sharing uh, method. With this, we take a mathematical equation and then we share points on the curve. So if we go for an all or nothing, then we might create a, an equation such as this, a, a linear equation with a gradient of three and it cuts the axis at four uh, here. So M is three and our secret might be this point here. For an all or nothing, then we can give uh, Bob one point, in this case, this point here, and when we can give Alice another point, which is this point here. So Alice is two and Bob is one and the point that Alice has is 210 and the point that Bob has is 17. With only one point, it's not possible to know the gradient and thus the point at which it cuts the y-axis. So we need two points together to be able to join to be able to work out what the secret actually is. So that's an all or nothing approach. But what we can do is build some resilience into this in that we can actually define any two from uh, three, say. So in this case, we could take the same equation, but now we will define a number of points. That one for Bob, uh, this one for uh, Alice and then the one up here for Carol at 313. And in this case any two from three could come together and to be able to recreate the equation. In this way we can have some resilience and that we could lose one of the shares uh, and still be able to, re to recover the secret. If we want to go from uh, three from four then we define this as an n from m, where m is the number of shares and t is the threshold that we require, a minimum threshold for the shares to come together to be able to recreate the secret. And for the, 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 the greater the number of uh, shares and thresholds that we have, the more complex our equation becomes. This is known as a polynomial function. So we might have 2x plus 5x plus 7 is uh, order 2 here, or a quadratic equation. But we can get higher uh, values than that. We define that as our quadratic equation, our polynomial equation. For an any 3 from 4, uh, we end up with, with, a, with a quadratic equation. So let's take 2x squared minus 2x plus 3, and that gives us this curve uh, here. With this curve, we might say that Bob is 1. So uh, Bob is 1 is here. We might say Carol is here, and Dave is he uh, here, here, and so on. So we can give Bob the value of 1 on the x-axis, Carol 2, Dave 3, and so on. And the actual secret is defined when x is 0. In this case, the secret is a value of 3. 
And now we can't bring two together because it wouldn't give us uh, the solution for the, the curve. So if we bring three together now, then we can regenerate the values of the curve and then determine our, our secret that we actually have. So this is a, a method of using a threshold scheme to be able to define our shares. So let's take a simple example. So let's say that we have this equation uh, and the secret is 10. So uh, luckily in Python, it's easy for us to create this. Uh, so this is creating some random values for the value of A and B, and then a, a secret value here. We then create a polynomial here, and we can see this polynomial being printed out, 20x squared minus 19x plus 10. We can then evaluate uh, for the different values. So F0 should give us a secret value. F1, in this case, x is 1. So we have 20 minus 19 plus 10, which gives us 11. So Bob's secret is 11. And we can work out for Carol, Dave and Alice what their values will be. So with those values, three of those values can come back together and it will regenerate uh, the equation of the line and then we can pick off our secret value uh, here. Okay, so in this case we're doing that, we're taking the first three shares and then we move into the numpy poly fit uh, of an order of two here and we should be able to recover our secret equation which is this one and it matches with that one there. Okay, so we get our equation back here. So we just have a look at this as an example. So we'll try a share of 12 here. And we can see here we get our value back again there. Those are the values that Bob, Carol, Dave and Alice actually have. If you look at the Python code, we'll see that numpy is our, our library that we're bringing in and then we're using that to generate our polynomial and then we're using that to be able to fit our curve. So it's quite uh, easy to do that. There's a secret 15. And you can see here it's recovered back what the polynomial was that we used, or the quadratic equation that we used. And then we're picking off this last value here, which is this value there for our secret. Okay, so now let's look at the proactive secret sharing system. Let's say that Alice has gone bad and we don't want to regenerate the values again. So Bob, Carol and Dave want to regenerate with, a, uh, with the same secret but new values that doesn't include uh, Alice. Okay, so we'll pick off our numbers as we've done before. So what happens is that Bob needs to generate uh, a, a new polynomial, but that polynomial should have a value of zero when given an x equal to zero. An example of this is this here, because the last value is a zero, when we plug in x is zero, we will get zero. So in each of the secret new equations, uh, polynomials that Carol and Dave create, we make sure that the we have a zero here uh, uh, for the uh, for the uh, polynomial that they create. Bob then shares uh, g of two of his secret new polynomial with Carol, and then for g of three with with Dave, and and so on. So they each share the values that relate to the others who are trusted. Uh, and pass those values on. So our new uh, secret share polynomial becomes the old one, plus Bob's, plus uh, Carol's, and plus Dave's. So Bob's new value that he, he will have is his old value, plus G when it's one, and the value that Carol passed when it's one, and then the, pa the value that Bob passed when it was one. Okay, so this is our generation here. 
and here we are generating the three random uh, polynomials and we see here that we're using a zero at the end to make sure that we end up with that value there. Okay, so we'll print that out and then we'll pass the values between uh, the entities as we have here and this becomes our new secret equation uh, here. So the secret stays the same but our our, our values will, will change now for the shares. Okay, so here's a sample run. Uh, we see Bob's new equation, there's Carol's and there's Dave's. They'll calculate the new values. This is the new function that we're working with and then when Bob, Carol and Dave bring back their values, they end up with the one that matches to the new one, uh, but also we can work out the, the new secret. So let's look at the code that relates to that. Okay, so just check. So there we go. So we generate our initial polynomial, which Alice will have a share for that one. But then uh, we now want Alice not to be in, uh, in the shares. So Bob, uh, Carol and Dave will generate this, these new polynomials. And then uh, they will share them with the others. And they will calculate new uh, shares for that. And then in the end, we can recompute with the new values, fit the polynomial and hopefully we should end up with the same secret share at the end. So we'll try a secret of 12 and see if that works. And it does, okay. So there's Bob's new polynomial here. There's Carol's and there's Dave's. This is the new uh, polynomial that's, that's uh, created as a share, which Alice won't know about and these are the values that uh, Bob, Carol and Alice and Bob, Carol and Dave have and this generates back our new uh, uh, polynomial equation and we should be able to generate our secret again. Okay so that's given as an example of proactive secret sharing it's defined as Byzantine fault tolerant in that we can make sure that uh, we can uh, remove an entity which is either malicious or is giving us errors. Hopefully that's recorded because I don't want to record that again.